guys, hello, how you doing? What's popping over there? Because right here, right now, in Oronimwe, Edo State, Nigeria, the biggest, baddest, and definitely fastest racing event is about to go down. Oh yeah, and it's like a carnival out here. The villagers are out, as you can see. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Nigeria Superbike Motor Race Road Race 2015. Yeah. And of course, um, last two editions has been perfect, awesome, dope. But trust me, this third edition is totally off the hook. Oh yeah, it keeps getting better and better. This year is better. I'm sure next year is going to be even bigger. Yeah, of course. And for this year, it has been tagged the celebration of speed. The Picasso's on the wheels. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All right, so just keep it with us. And um, definitely we'll share the details of every single part of this event. Let's just get to know more about how the citizens of this particular community feel about this race. Good morning, sir. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm very, very happy. I'm free moral, I'm free grateful, I'm happy, I'm excited. Because of what I'm just looking, what I'm just seeing, what I'm just viewing now. Wow. Ain't nothing stopping the BT because we've got a lot of prayers, we've got a lot of support from the community. And trust me, it's awesome and today is going to be epic. I can see the background eyes, yeah. Uh, we are happy, it's very fantastic. Yeah. We'd like to see this kind of thing again happen, yeah? yeah. Uh, I'm cool, I'm happy, I'm celebrating with two people. Yeah. Seeing you here, yeah, I'm very happy. Right now, I have a female biker. Hello, pretty. Hi. What's your name? Dot. Dot, so Dot, are you racing the BT or are you just riding? I'm racing the BT. Oh, that is your baby? Awesome. It, it, your bike is so beautiful. So darling, how long have you been riding? Um, about two and a half years now. Wow, two and a half years. Awesome. So what are what no, are your expectations? Three years. Three years. Yeah. That's massive. Yeah. So what are your expectations for this event? To win or? Hey. Uh, so you think you can win? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm winning. You're winning? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, darling, I wish you the very best and I really hope a female wins so that we can truly know that what a man can do, a woman can do much better. Guys, I just got back from a ride. It was never working because I've never done this, but I mean, it was exciting. And I'm here to have fun. This is part of the fun. Thank you so much, Mr. Kachi, for the ride. What's your name, please? Rodney. Rodney, where are you from? I'm from the U.S. So how long have you been a part of this? Uh, since the start. Since the start. We, uh, we come here last year. Mm -hmm. We come here the year before. The year before was like trial run. Then... Uh, this year. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. As you can see, the villagers are all lined up looking out to see what's going to happen today. This obviously is not the first time it's happening, but it keeps getting better and better. And every year we keep stunning them. Stick with us and we're back in a bit. Okay. All right, yeah, um, right now I can see a Yamaha representative right here. Okay, how you doing, sir? Yeah, really good. What's the name? Uh, Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. All right, Fuji, I can see your attire. Uh, who are you, Fuji? Yeah, I'm a uh, uh, deputy managing director of CFO Yamaha Motor Nigeria Limited. This event is a great the collaboration with uh, nine community here. It's a great opportunity for us to collaborate together to promote uh, motorcycling. And as you can see, there's massive turnout. There is the massive crowd. Everybody is excited. It's about to go down. Like I said before, it's going to be fast and furious. Stick with me and I'll show you the best of this event. All right, guys, it's still the Nigeria Superbike Road Race has been going on. This, of course, is the third edition. And last year, of course, we had the race and we had a winner, someone who beat everybody to take the trophy home. And he's right here with us. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. Let's meet you, please. My name is Jack. Uh, I'm a BT racer, last year's winner. Yeah? Where are you from? Uh, we came all the way from Potakot, Nuwere. Okay. Originally, where are you from? I'm Palestinian. You are Palestinian? Yeah. You don't even look it. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what do you think gave you the edge? How did you, how did you win? How did you beat everybody last year to take the trophy? Well, uh, there must be a winner at the end of the day. Uh, I did my best. I pushed as hard as I could, and uh, I emerged winner. So. so how long have you been racing for? I've been racing for quite a while. Like, not racing per se, but I've Riding. been biking for quite a while, like 12, 13 years. 12, 13 years. I spoke to a guy earlier who had been doing it for 30 years, and that still didn't give him an edge over you. So there must be something. What are you doing if someone else isn't doing? <laughs> Probably there's a difference in a heart. Like, somebody has a more courageous heart than another. Yeah. Okay, so what's this year looking like for you? Do you think you're going to take that trophy home again? I will try. We have a lot of good racers, very good racers. Uh, we know a lot of them, and uh, um, there's a competition this year. Yeah. I can assure you that. But yeah. 
I will do my best and that's all I can say. All right, guys, we're still here at the Nigeria Superbike Race 2015 and the event is, is about to begin in earnest. And right now we have the patron of the Power Bike Club, the Inoge of Iwe Banosa himself, who's here to represent. Good afternoon, sir. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much and you're welcome to our community. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So what are your expectations for today? Well, I expect um, a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. and the people, as you can see, the people have all come out to see what is happening. Yes, and uh, the riders yes. they are, are very, very enthusiastic. Yes, I've heard the sound of their uh, uh, motorbikes. Mm -hmm. They all seem to be in very good order.
everyone is safe they're not gonna go together they're leaving one by one okay just step it up a lot down we'll be back in the bit to give you the rest of the details get pumped up get pumped up the energy is high here
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is still the BT race, and of course, today history was made. Can you imagine? Of all the contestants we have for the first time in history, as far as Nigerian racing is concerned, and all female winners. And standing right next to me is the beautiful, sexy diva that clinched the first position. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. All right, what's your name? My name is Dot. Dot, D-O-T. So D-O-T, uh, did you actually compete with men? I need to know that first of all, because I'm feeling very angry right now. Yes, I did. Awesome. Yes. And I also heard that you had a 400cc instead of a 600cc, and you used a 400cc motorbike to contest for a 600cc competition. Yeah, it's not about the capacities, the skills. How do you feel? Just tell me the truth. How do you feel? Wow, I feel really, really, really good, and I feel very proud of myself riding the smallest bike wow. <laughs> in Nigeria, a 250cc, and I could get an award. Are you serious? Wow. I, I feel great. I ride a 600cc. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. all right. So, how do you feel? Really great. Really, really great. Awesome road, too. Hope to come back next year. Mr. Common number 11, third position. Second position, Mr. Ahmed. The defining moment. Who is the BT champion? If I, I, I can't give this news. Baby, help me out. <laughs> so there you have it. The defending champion, Mr. Jack, who I spoke uh -huh. to earlier, who had butterflies in his stomach because he wasn't sure. Okay. He held on to his title this year and he's going to win the trophy again. That is celebration. Mr. Jack, what's up? 
How you doing, man? How you feeling? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's part of the celebration. Mr. Jack, how you feeling? Great. I feel great. I feel very happy. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's all I can say. Yeah, I'm feeling fly, bro. Oh, you're feeling fly? Feeling very Of course, you could fly. That was why you came, um, I think, second runner-up, right? Yeah, that's what it is, man. That's what it is, man. And he did it again. The winner for 2014 held on to his trophy so tight and did it again 2015. Jack, how you feeling? Twice. Twice. We got it two times. In a row. In a row, baby. <laughs> In a row. How you feeling right now? Uh, Overexcited. Second place position, Mr. Ahmed. How you feeling right now? I feel fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing. There's no better feeling. No better way to show my emotions right now. So this year's winners have been announced, and right now we have with us the guy who came third. Let's meet you, please. My name is Summer. 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 Good. So congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. How does it feel? Oh, very good. Very, very good. The road was good. I had to, I had time to like hop on the throttle, but I wasn't used to the, I wasn't really used to the uh, track, so I had to like take it easy when I got to some point. But is this your first time at the race? This is my first time. This is my first time on the track. My first time at the competition. Wow. It feels so good. You were here from the beginning. What do you think? How do you feel right now? Yeah, this is a uh, quite good sports, yeah. motorsports racing mm -hmm. in uh, Nigeria. Right. That's I guess uh, it's the biggest event. And uh, organizations is uh, quite well organized yeah. and uh, very safe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Okao Duagbo is my name. I'm the president of the Motorcycle Sports Club of Nigeria. Under whose umbrella we hold the Nigeria Superbike Road Race. This is an event that succeeded beyond anybody's widest imagination. This year's edition was off the hook, but next year, off the heavens. No words. No words.